Now this video explain the example of B for finding the deflection uh, at point C due, uh, using the virtual work method. Now uh, this example is has a pin supports at A, roller supports at B and 4 kilo newton load applied at C. So if I draw the though the elastic cause we need to find this deflection at point C due to this 4 kN. Now there are four steps. First we draw the virtual uh, beam by removing all the external load and apply the uh, and then we find the internal moments due to the virtual load. We find internal moment uh, due to virtual load. Let's say virtual load is is one kilonewton and then third we are finding the internal moment due to uh, real loading and then fourth one we're going to find the deflections using the equation small m due to virtual load e i t x now let's do the first steps step number one we have we draw a the beam exactly the same a b and we are applying this one kilonewton virtual load uh, this distance i did not explain but in the example is given two meter and one meter now in this case first of all we need to find this reaction forces a y and let's say b y there is no any 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 horizontal uh, reaction force because there is no any external load so let's say sum of the moment at point a equal to zero anti-clockwise is positive so this is clockwise moment so one times the distance is three meters three meters and this by create the clock anti-clockwise moment so plus by times two meter equal to zero so by times two meter equal to positive three kilonewton meters and by equal to three on two equal to 1.5 kilonewtons uh, if I do some of the force in the y direction upward is positive a y going up b y going up and this minus 1 kilonewton going down we substitute b y 1.5 so a y plus 1.5 minus 1 equal to 0 so a y equal to 0.5 kilonewton so a y would be minus 0 0.5 kilonewton so I redraw this one here that here minus 0 0.5 kilonewton we have 1.5 kilonewton and we have virtual load of 1 kilonewton uh, this is point a point b and point c now in this case we need to find small m1 at a distance of x1 so we need to find let's say small m1 here and and similarly we need to get this let's say small uh, distance x2 we make the second cut and we need to find small m2 and this x1 distance is vary from 0 to 2 meters and this x2 distance is vary from 0 to 1 meter because this is 2 meter and this is 1 meter so if i redraw this cut here which is minus 0 0.5 kilonewton here at a cut of distance x1 and i want to find this small m1 in this case uh, if i take the moment at this point anti-clockwise is positive and this one is anti-clockwise so small m1 and this one is is uh, clockwise so minus minus 0.5 x1 equal to 0 so m1 plus 0.5 x1 equal to 0 so m1 equal to minus 0.5 x1 so that's the first equations uh, that we found now the second one that we have it here which is which is this cut uh, here so that cut has a has a one kilonewton and we are making these cuts here and that distance is x2 and where we make the cut we have this m2 moment so again we apply the moment at this point anti-clockwise is positive this is clockwise so minus one x2 and this one also anti-clockwise minus m2 minus m2 is equal to x2 so m2 equal to minus x2 so that's we found uh, two steps third steps 
we need to find capital M which is internal moment due to real loading uh, internal moment due to real loading now for that case we draw the beam again we have this pin roller and we have this four kilo newton now in here if i if i if i if i if i have this uh, if you remember this one then we we can just uh, simplify this one by looking at this uh, looking at this virtual load one that if you can see the virtual load one we have minus 0.5 we have 1.5 and we have this virtual load of 1 kilo newtons in that case if i replicate this one and if you take the two cut we found this uh, small m1 value of of minus 0.5 x1 and we find small m2 value of uh, minus x2 so if I replicate this one, I can I can see that 0.5. So I just need to amplify everything by 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 four. So if I do it here, minus 0.5 times four would be minus two. Over here, if I have to do it, 1.5 times four, which is equal to six kilonewton. Uh, now let's say we if we, if I cut it here, and then if I want to find this one, so capital M one equal to it give us minus 0.5 times 4 x1 so that will give us minus 2 x1 similarly if i make the cut here i'm just amplifying everything by 4 so capital m2 equal to minus 4 x2 because that's that's we have a equivalent loading condition now we going to apply our equations to find the deflection deflection equal to 0 to L small m capital L E I D X now we have two different segments so first segments will be vary from 0 to 2 as you can see this cut is 0 to 2 small m1 capital M1 over E I D X1 second cut also vary from 0 to 1 as you can see this cut is 0 to 1 so 0 to 1 small m2 capital M2 E I D X2 now let's substitute the value uh, 0 to 2 small m1 small m1 is minus 0.5 x x1 minus 0.5 x1 that is small m1 uh, capital m1 capital m1 is minus 2 x1 minus 2 x1 over ei dx1 plus 0 to 1 similarly m2 small m2 is minus x2 minus x2 and then we have this minus 4 x2 over ei dx2 now we can take the common ei 1 over ei here and 0 to 2 minus minus 0.5 times point so x1 dx1 plus 0 to 1 uh, minus minus positive 4x2 square uh, and that is 1 over ei and dx2 and this one is x1 square uh, similarly we can take 1 over ei out uh, here x1 cubed on 3 0 to 2 uh, if i integrate that one i can take the 4 out and if i integrate this one x2 cube on 3 uh, 0 to 1 so simplifications gives 8 on 3 plus 4 ei it gives us 1 on 3 so here 8 on 3 ei plus 4 on 3 ei it gives us 12 on 3 ei which is give you 4 on ei so deflection at point c equal to 4 on ei thank you very much